say happy homecoming for sure. Well, new tonight, Ridge Hill and Yonkers may be known as a shopping destination, but it is also host to the annual Ridge Toberfest that welcomes and celebrates the fall season. And that is where we find News 12's Carol Wilkinson with all of the sights and sounds of the event. Carol? If you want food, they've got it. If you prefer pumpkin carving or live music, they've got that too. Ridge Toberfest is in full effect as we welcome a brand new season. Invite crowds of people and their families to Ridge Hill and Yonkers for an outdoor celebration, and they will come. I think it's great. I mean, I think it's getting everybody back together again after the pandemic. And it's something that we've needed because everybody's been home and inside for so long. So I think this is a great thing for the community to have this going on right now. Ridge Toberfest has something for everyone, including face painting, stilt walkers, bull riding, and so much more. A little chill in the air didn't stop Avery Alvarez from enjoying herself. I like, I like decorating pumpkins. Are you all ready for cold weather? Yes. And how are you ready for the colder weather? I have a jacket on. The once annual Harvest Fest, making a triumphant return to the outdoor shopping center this year. It's now renamed Ridgetoberfest. New additions in food and activities making up for the temporary hiatus. I get to interact with families and I just, I get to play with people. It's also a joy for me. Yeah. yeah. With so much going on and so much to see and do, many we spoke with had a hard time picking a favorite part of the event. Just lots of activities to do and lots of things that you just can really just really get into. It's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's your favorite if you had to pick one thing? I don't know, but it's kind of hard for me to choose sometimes. Now, this autumn festival was sidelined for a couple of years by the pandemic, but organizers tell me starting with this event and continuing into the near future, it's going to be an annual event in Yonkers. In Yonkers, Carol Wilkinson, News 12.